cool. So I'll show you how to set up the NFL module on the Smart Mirror. Um, this one's gonna be really quick, really easy. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna connect to the Smart Mirror. Okay, once we do that, we're gonna open up a uh, window for magicmirror.builders and go to modules. Once we're here, we're gonna control F for NFL and you should see MMM-NFL. That's the one we're gonna be using today. Uh, scroll down, here's some examples of what it's going to look like. So you can have a black and white, colored, um, the logos, helmets, um, and then some other extra information. Um, so to get started, we're going to navigate to this window. So let me just minimize this. Okay, once we do that, we can go here. All right, open up a uh, terminal, and we're just going to type this. CD space this, hit enter. And we're gonna have to clone the repo. So it doesn't really give you the code. We're gonna have to scroll up here, um, hit the down arrow. Here's the uh, clone right here, control C. And we're gonna do git clone paste. And hit enter and it will clone it for you. Next, we're just gonna go CD MMM NFL and NPN install. And that's literally it, just to install it. So that might take like a minute or two, but uh, just give it a second. All right, and finally, once that's done, all we have to do is scroll back down here, and we're gonna copy this code right here. Copy, go to our config file. Open with Genie, just easier to format that way. Score to the bottom, find the last module. Close bracket comma, hit enter, and paste it in here. Now we're just gonna format it. Okay, now these three dots you're gonna wanna get rid of. Here's the uh, the default config. So if you don't add anything in here, it's gonna be based on this. So colored is false, helmet's false, so on. I recommend putting colored as true because you want color in the module. So colored colon true comma. Um, now you can do the helmets instead of the logo. I personally like the logo, so I'm just gonna ignore that one. This is if you only wanna focus on certain teams rather than all of the teams. So you can put the Giants, the Cowboys, Patriots, and it will only show those on the on the table. I'll show just all of them, just I don't know who you guys like. I like the Patriots and the uh, Buccaneers now that Tom Brady's playing for them, but um, I'll have all of them on there anyways. So let's see, do, do, do. The only thing I'm gonna change is maybe the reload interval, so let's copy that paste and let's do let's see i actually do it as like a time thing so let's do every 10 minutes so 10 times 60 times 1000 i like writing it this way just because it's easier to see so basically this turns it into seconds this turns it into minutes this turns it into 10 minutes so um it's just an easier way of visualizing it again um and then let's see and table size is probably a good one to have too um, and this one I'm going to set to small just because I have a lot of modules on there at the moment So it's just going to look a little bit nicer as small as opposed to like medium or large Which might make it easier to see in that way. Um, actually, we have to put quotes around this There you go And that really should be it. So um, And then obviously I guess position. So let's change where it's going to be located. I want it at the bottom right Okay, and that's it control say s or save it here once we do that, uh, it's pretty much done. So let's launch it. Let's go to, let's maximize this and go to, uh, let's just hit CD to go back to the main directory. CD magic mirror, NPM start. And there you go. That's, uh, today is the 29th of uh, November. Um, so basically this is kind of what's going on today. So I think it's good for three main reasons. Um, you know, for the upcoming week, it'll tell you who's playing who and at what day and time, which is which is nice if you want to see when your team's playing and who they're playing against. Um, it'll tell you the final score when they're done uh, playing. So, you know, for your reference, if you want to see who won, what the score was, you know, it's useful for that. Um, and then if they're playing currently, it'll actually tell you the quarter and the amount of time left in that quarter. Um, it also has a little football icon next to the um, uh, team that's, who currently has the ball, which is, you know, kind of nice to see. It's just some good information in the module. Finally, I don't have it on here. Let's see. Now, another thing that's pretty neat that I'm not going to really show in this video is um, it's actually uh, this module supports voice control by this module here, MMM-Voice. And it looks like you can actually do a list of voice commands. So um, you can actually change the config by saying show helmet, show logos. It'll actually change that in your config file. But 
you do have to set up this module first and able to do that. Um, other th cool things you can do is say like show passing yards, rushing, rushing yards um, for the top five rushing players. It'll show you and it'll look something like this. So I'll tell you, you know, passing yards, which quarterbacks did the best this week, stuff like that. So it might be a useful module to use. Um, I'm not going to go over that module, but it might be uh, worth taking a look at. Now, I mean, the other thing too is it's not limited to just NFL. It's it's just as easy to install the NHL, um, PGA. I'm sure there's one for NBA, soccer, or whatever. So if you want to add, you know, different things like that, it's probably just as simple. So let's go to the NHL one. Yeah, so it's literally the same thing. You're just gonna do navigate to this folder, do git clone, and then get the code here, um, and then just paste this in. It looks like it has the exact same or very similar config option so it, it's basically exactly the same you can use this video and just you know put NHL into the NFL okay I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did feel free to give the video a like and if you have any other modules you want to see me uh, show how to install them uh, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll take a look at those as well. If you want to see some of the upcoming videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. That'd be super helpful for my channel. If you guys are interested in the frameless mirror that I've been using in my videos, I put a link in the description where you can sign up for a uh, email list. And basically I'm going to be releasing a select few to people who are interested in getting one. You have to be from the US though, just because of uh, shipping restrictions. But um, yeah, if you're interested in that, definitely feel free to, I mean, it's free just to get your name on the list. Um, and then we'll be choosing from a select few. So um, looking forward to that.